Everybody, this is Tracy here with another edition of a view from Tracy's point and I am here with a really quick video to talk about the rating slump with the Real Housewives of Atlanta so first I have to give this disclaimer that I'm not a big watcher of Real Housewives of, of Atlanta any longer um, it kind of lost its luster for me a few years ago but it's been in the news lately about their ratings, how the ratings are down, people are tuning out, and a lot of people are attributing the slump in ratings to Nene not being renewed for season 13 over salary disputes and the possibility that she may be filing a lawsuit against Bravo. But I think that Bravo started to lose big time you know real housewives of atlanta lost its luster i believe at the the breakup of frick and frack which was the firing of phaedra parks and so once i was reading in the blogs about the ratings and what was going on i decided to go over to michelle brown at alien who you guys know is behind the straight from the a blog because she is friends with nini and so i know she was going to have an opinion about these ratings and what is going on and sure enough she did and i am going to drop that link above but here are some screenshots from Michelle's video where she's talking about the ratings for the second week in a row and showing that the show continues to decline. But if you guys pay attention and you look at season seven, which looks like it might have been around the time when things started to go downhill. They were at 3.83 million on the first episode of season seven. And then the first episode they of season eight, they went to 2.97, but rebounded on the second with 3.09. But then it has gone down ever since. And so the reason I believe that Phaedra leaving the show is a big part of this is because her last season was season nine. And so the show opened up in season 10 with 2.43, but then it has been downhill. They picked up some viewers for episode two. I'm not sure what the rest of the season was, but then when they opened in season 11, they were down season 12, they were down and now season 13, they are continuing to go down. And so if you guys remember Nini, I believe was a full-time cast member, meaning she was in every episode up through season seven. And then on season eight, I believe she was considered a guest. She wasn't a regular cast member. I don't believe she was on season nine at all. She wasn't on that season. And then she returned season 10, but I don't think she's really had a full-time role since she returned. I remember Greg was sick and everything. And so there are a number, I believe, of things that are coming into play but i know for me and a lot of people that really love the chemistry between phaedra and portia and the whole freak and frack storyline a lot of us were turned off from the real housewives of atlanta when they fired phaedra and then that whole dumb story about candy and the dungeon you know was so contrived and you know we're learning now with the real housewives of potomac how when these women want to get a castmate off the show how they'll make up these storylines and so i wouldn't put it past candy to have planted that whole story about the sex dungeon and then set phaedra up to share the information with Portia and then I don't know whether Portia was in on the setup or not or she was just an airhead not paying attention but I believe that that was a setup and that's what got Phaedra off the show then they brought Kenya back with the fake marriage and all of that 
and that didn't help with the ratings. I don't know why Kenya is still on the show, but obviously um, Kenya is not moving the meter with the fans who are watching the show. And then maybe bringing Nene back in a part-time role or only putting her on on certain episodes may have turned off more fans who want to see her come back in a full-time role. But I really believe in my heart of hearts that the sin that did Jezebel in was the firing of Phaedra Parks and the breakup of the friendship between her and Portia. Because when you think about it, that was the only bright spot in the show at that time. Like people loved them. They were so energetic. They were entertaining. They had this friendship that many people wish they had with their girlfriends, you know, no nitpicking, no fighting. They supported each other. And then also I believe that a lot of people you know, were upset because Apollo left because then that kind of left Phaedra, you know, like what's Phaedra's storyline going to be? And that's when they came up with the freaking frack thing. And then people were hoping that Phaedra and Portia would get a spinoff, you know, which of course didn't happen. And so I just believe that when we start looking back at, you know, the past four seasons, that there are certain strong elements that let us know that people maybe have been getting tired of all the changes in the show, you know, getting new castmates that weren't interesting, only lasting one season. They hear you come with some more people that we don't know. Then the re the rumors that they're trying to go with a younger cast, but these younger cast members just aren't exciting and people don't want to see them. And so that's my thought on it. I believe, you know, I'll say it again and again and again. I believe the downfall of Real Housewives of Atlanta has more to do with them firing Phaedra than it does with them firing Nini. So you guys let me know what you think is going on and let me know if you're still watching the show. If you are still watching, are you going to hang in there? Or are you about to check out? Because these two new castmates that they got, they're not doing it for me. And then also my homegirl, Marlo like why Marlo can't get a peach <laughs> okay like she has been the friend to the show you know all these years and can't get a peach and then you know people quitting the show it's just a lot I just think that they have lost it like the time has come and gone and that they are not going to be able to create a cast that was exciting as it was in the first seven or eight seasons that they're just not going to get that back so go ahead, leave your comments below, rate the video, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And until the next time, I shall talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.